I'm gonna create the surrounding eye skin in this lecture. We'll use this eyeball already we have as a reference object so that we can uh, create the surrounding eye skin on top of that object exactly matching. So let's start. So we have to use the make life option on this object. So select this object, go to modify menu and make life. So this is a very good option. This will help you to create other things like curve and maybe polygons on top of this object. So it's a live object. We can see this option goes blue right now and here it shows the name. So let's go and bring the tools, mesh tools and choose create polygon. This is the tool I'm using. Go to front view, turn on X-ray, go to setting and X-ray and just click just follow this eye window line. I click on here. One point is here. Third point here, center. Fourth point. Fifth point. Just follow this line contour. Okay. And then click and click. Click enter. You can see uh, the polygon is exactly on top of that surface. We don't have to adjust that. Then let's create the skin. Let's go to edge mode, double click. Okay, extrude those edges outside. So just go to scale. Let's just scale it. So scale. So it's still a live object. So you can see. All the vertex are exactly on the surface we might have to adjust something manually but uh, again it's a live object so it's exactly snapping to the object okay so fine select the center face and delete it we don't need this face turn off x-ray see that's inside actually exactly sits on the surface so you can see that here it has a uh, few vertices. Just move that little bit forward. Just make, turn off make life. Move it a little bit. Still it's matching the contour. And it's black because I have turned off my two-sided lighting option in this menu. So what it does, it uh, actually when it's on, it light, lights two sides of the polygon so our polygon has two sides one is the normal side and the other side is the opposite of normal so if the opposite of normal is facing towards you towards outside so it's wrong always your normal should look outside so just select the object and go to mesh display reverse to reverse the normal that's it so we're done then let's extrude this edge to create the thickness there so extrude move backward scale a little bit so that you get this angle like thing there okay we still have to adjust properly so never hesitate to go back and adjust your basic set it's vital okay so good then let's extrude this is once more extrude scale that okay so this is my skin area just adjust these vertices to somewhere in between the eyebrow and the eye itself so just adjust those so good so this is for this lesson and the next lesson we are going to create uh, the leaf blocking